Hello there, YouTube brothers and sisters. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, choked up. I'm all choked up. I just wanted to um, uh, kind of clarify something. Because I know I'm a grouchy, angry looking person. And I'm just not all grouchy and angry. I'm just, I look like this. Um, I do get a little passionate. And I sound a little passionate sometimes. But, alright. Rapture. Um, just because what I see in those scriptures where you're reading of the final trumpet and the dead are gone and everybody and then the alive are gone and I read it and see that that's at the end of a whole lot of bad stuff um, as it says in Matthew there none of this um, Like it, it tells us to use, like the one says to use these words to comfort one another. And it's not like I'm trying to not comfort people that are being comforted by this imminent rapture. <clears throat> I don't believe it's being comforting to be anxious for the rapture tomorrow. When it's very clear from scriptures, we're not there. We're not there yet. And if it's the seventh or last trumpet, Jesus says, when I come back, I'll gather all of the elect from one end of heaven to the other, all of them at once, dead and living. Rapture. That's when Jesus comes back. He comes back at the end, man. He doesn't pop in, pick us up, and then go back, and then come back later. And I mean, it's not like I don't want to give hope. Like, knowing that is to give hope. You don't think going through this tribulation period, we're going to want to know that he who endures to the end shall be saved. Saved means protected. Have faith. Have faith and you're going to need it. That's why I don't want people to be misled to think that they're going to be raptured away before anything bad happens to them because it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says before this happens you're given up to be afflicted and killed. That's what it that's what Jesus says. That's what his words say. And after all that then comes for the elect from one end of the heaven to the other, it says. Dead or alive. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. One shot. Wait. Rapture just like you guys are talking about but it's not pre-tribulation that's the final trumpet it's when Jesus comes what do you think happens after Jesus comes what do you call that period I think we're going through judgment and then we get God's wrath they have to pay, they have to know, I think, for a thousand years. There's a thousand years of rain there on earth. Where Christ reigns for a thousand. And this is, I'm just assuming. But it's not a good one, right? So. But I don't want to, it's not like a, I'm trying to take hope away from people. It's actually trying to show you the true hope that we're to have with our faith that Jesus Christ is real and he is coming back and who's he coming back for? us so if we endure to the end and we don't get martyred then we'll be raptured 
but there's some bad stuff goes on before the end and there's going to be some crazy demonic stuff goes on before the end I'm sure you'd understand by looking outside today there's crazy stuff already going on so I'm doing this because I love you guys it makes a lot of people that are supposed to be my brothers in Christ and my sisters in Christ who I love makes them angry with me and makes them hate me and call me all kinds of demonic names and stuff that's okay and I, I, I love you anyway and I forgive you before you call me a name on this it's okay I'm just I'm here to tell the truth no matter what it costs me I don't care what it costs me my Lord paid for everybody's sins all of my sins right okay and then if you take everything I've ever done and I'm not dead yet right so every sin I ever do all of the payment for that like the wages for sin is death but then there's the wrath of God so all of God's wrath for all of those sins Jesus paid that for me and it says he paid everybody's and if you believe on him you get to live with him forever it doesn't matter to me what it costs me here to show anyone the truth about Jesus and God and the Bible and salvation the truth because I was lost for a long time until I broke and I cried out to God and I asked him to show me the truth and he showed me Jesus he said you got to know Jesus you've got to know my son or you can't come in and I knew God my whole life I was lost because I didn't know Jesus I knew who he was he's the son of God guy right died on the cross and stuff rode the donkey I knew the story but I didn't know who's Jesus well he's my king he's my Lord he's God manifest in a man he was the perfect example he's my teacher he's my disciple or am I my teacher, my rabbi, I'm his disciple. I learn from him, right? How do I do that? By trying to follow his perfect example. Can I be perfect? No, it says to. It says be perfect like your father. Can we? No. Can we try? Sure, why not? Take every thought captive. There's some good advice, right? Start thought by thought start thinking bad just take it captive say, no no I rebuke you in the name of Jesus right that's where I get a little emotion sometimes but <clears throat> I know it's hard to understand and I know it kind of well, it's not that it's hard to understand it's hard to when you've learned something and believed something it's hard to just change your thinking right which is repent repent and believe on Jesus repent follow him who Jesus oh well and who said what you're saying Kevin I read to you Jesus's words that's what I read the words of Jesus Christ our Messiah that's what I read to you he said when he's coming back and when he comes back he's gonna collect us up that's what he said and he who endures to the end shall be saved and he don't lie so that's the way it is guys
And for all the ones that need to hate me, please don't hate me, because hate is bad for you. It doesn't hurt me. Um, well, no, it hurts me a little bit, right? I'm still human. I like to be liked a little bit. And my brothers and sisters, when they're angry with me, that hurts, right? But it's okay. I, I accept that. I like, I accept that. I've kind of known that my whole life, that that's just how it is. Sometimes the truth costs me to tell the truth. That's just the way it is. That's okay. It's better. In the long run, it's better, right? We have our momentary um, feelings and struggles and, and happinesses and, and angers and whatever, but they're momentary. The consequences sometimes aren't, right? Sometimes our consequences can be eternal. So, to me it's better to just accept whatever it costs me to get the truth out and stuff. And when it comes to the Gospel and, and the Bible, I'm just going to tell what I see. And if I'm corrected, I'm corrected. And I mean, I've been, had people argue against what I say, and I've had people tell me things and show me things. And I've looked into them, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if you're just going to throw verses, and go, you did this and that, and oh, because I looked what he said, and oh, that doesn't even sound right. That's a story mixed up. I had to go back and find it, and go, oh yeah, okay, that's why. It's where Jesus, he starts doing the parables. He moves around, says one thing, then another, then another. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> anyway, I love you all. That's why I do this. And um, the fact that I believe the rapture happens, like he says, at the seventh trumpet, when it, after the sun goes dark and all that stuff. And that that is still our blessed hope. I mean, like to share these words, to give comfort to one another. Why comfort? How is that comforting that we have to go through tribulation? Because everybody's gone through tribulations. Right? We're allowed to share in what he went through. He says, and then you will be given up to be afflicted and killed. What happened to Jesus? He gave himself up to be afflicted and killed. And then what? And then what? Then what? Then what? He went to the Father. What happens when we get afflicted and killed? We go to the Father. We, we become part of the body of Christ. We're in Jesus. The worst thing that the enemy can do to us, he thinks, by killing us and afflicting us, is the greatest gift that Satan can give us. He just doesn't know it. God blesses those who bless us and curses those who curse us. He loves us. The world tells you things. You're unworthy, you don't belong. That's what the devil tells you. We are worthy. Why are we worthy? Just enough? Because God picked me. I don't need to understand why I am one of his adopted children. But I'm sure glad I am. I don't know, guys. Because he says many are called, but few are chosen. So. <sighs> Take it serious. Love your Lord. Dig into your Bible. Pray about it, guys. Don't let man know. Let no man deceive you, right? So, I should try to start saying that on every video. Make sure you don't just believe me. Ask. 
what I say, ask God about it. You always take everything in prayer to the Lord. Please, when I'm speaking, please take it to the Lord. For, for more, for me too. Do it mostly for you, but for me too, right? Like, I don't want to make mistakes, and I'm just a man, and I'm also fighting an enemy out here. But I truly believe that the Lord will, He will show us the truth. He's looking for lovers of the truth, right? Anyway, 15 minutes. Love you all, and I hope you have a great day.